Okay, this question I get a lot. Um, it says, there are many EFT trainers and certifiers on the internet. Are they valid? Do you endorse, do you, Gary, endorse any of them? You know, do you, Gary, as the founder, endorse any of them? Well, let me give you a little history here so we put this in perspective. Um, when I first introduced EFT to the public in 1995, I had no idea it would spread and be the hands of millions of people worldwide. I thought maybe 30 or 40 people would use it and maybe call me as a resource <laughs> in the background or something. But no, so I put it out with what I called an open hand. No royalties, no legal fences. I just said, hey, here it is. Uh, do what you want to do with it. Probably, probably pretty effective, probably useful. So people did that. And it spread all over the world, partly because it worked, and partly because uh, my open hand just, people did what they want to do with it. So, so I, honor, I honor all the enthusiasm behind it. My goodness, it was just all over every place. Uh, you know, the, the book that I wrote at the time was, was uh, translated into 23 different languages uh, voluntarily. It was just enthusiasm everywhere. And with that enthusiasm comes people who will learn the basics of EFT um, and then get their own idea of what they could add to it. And so they take their idea or ideas and add to EFT. And then they learn to talk to somebody else who has another idea of theirs, and they blend that in here with EFT, um, at least what I was teaching with EFT. And you multiply that by millions of people, and you have EFT going through millions of belief filters, if you will, all of which are different. But what comes out are multitudes of different versions of EFT. Um, now, I blame no one for that but me. I just didn't foresee it. I should have created standards and all of that. So if you look on Amazon, for example, at EFT or tapping books, you will find over a thousand books on that subject. And while I haven't read them all, those that I've looked at, no two are the same. People that are doing trainings in EFT um, don't do it the same as somebody else doing trainings or being certified in EFT. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can take these people's trainings that are labeled EFT and you will learn different things. I'm not saying it's not useful, but it's not consistent, and that's my fault. I blame nobody but myself for that. People are doing just what they believe is true. They're very enthusiastic about it. I honor it, I honor it, I honor it. However, there are people who want to know what EFT is. They want to be up to date in it. I am constantly evolving it, and this, these evolutions aren't really being kept up with you know, by all the other uh, promoters. Um, so I've, de I've developed the uh, Gary Craig official EFT training centers. They're in several languages now. Um, and that's where we have uh, the latest and greatest of all of these techniques. That's where we have training from the source. That's where we are emphasizing our most advanced technique. The optimal EFT involves the unseen therapist or the spiritual dimension, which once that skill is learned, you know, it takes you into levels that uh, previously were just just not known. So. Um, anyway, I hope that answers the question. Um, <laughs> I, honor, I honor all the enthusiasm. I do emphasize that if you want, if you want um, training from the source, it's available to you.